Hi, this is Rich Voltz, Associate Director with the Online Association of School Administrators. And this is another in our series of how to use apps on an iPad. And the app we're going to be demonstrating this time is an app called Evernote. And what you would do is you would just go to the App Store yourself and you're going to search for the app called Evernote, which I'm going to do right here as you're viewing this with me. And the, app, uh, the Evernote app, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, corner, it is free, and I already have it installed. But uh, you probably don't have it installed yet, and you want to install it on your iPad. So as I go back to my home page from iPad, you can see on, in this particular screen, I have my 17 favorite iPad applications and in the second column, third one down, you can see the application Evernote. So as I tip or click on that Evernote application, yours will be blank because you're not going to um, have any applications or, or notes probably the first time you do it. And so what, what you would do is um, you're going to make a, a, uh, a new note here. And what we're going to be doing is using Evernote for uh, classroom observation or teacher evaluation purposes. And I think this has a lot of uses for school administrators, especially as we're getting into this high stakes teacher evaluation uh, process. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I am using it as I'm teaching school administrators how to do these activities. And uh, what I've done is I've, I've previously made an Evernote file that I am calling the uh, Danielson rubric. And you can see by this Danielson rubric that I have uh, some activities for the various domains in Danielson. So I have previously just copied and pasted some of the components within the Danielson domains. So let's say we're going to make a new note and we just click on new note and we're going to title this new note the name of the teacher that we're going to be observing. So in this particular case I'm, I'm going to say it's Mrs. Lewis. Observation is the observation that we're going to make and it is on um, <clears throat> today's date so I'm going to enter in on November 17th, 2012. That's the particular day that I'm doing this podcast. And then I, I have a, a start of an app. Now I'm going to go back to this app I had previously uh, showed you that had some of these Danielson um, rubric items. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those components and then I'm going to go back to this Mrs. Lewis observation and I'm going to paste the those components that I previously copied right here into her observation. So when I'm on this page that says Mrs. Lewis observation on November 17th, you can see that there's a pencil on the bottom. When I click on the pencil, that gives me the ability to be able to edit this information. So I'm just going to push my finger down on the page and I'm going to paste in that information. So what I'm doing here is kind of just starting with some information that I, I, I would want to look at. So uh, let's say I'm in the classroom now and I'm going to start actually putting some information in. I'm going to say, maybe I'm even going to um, just say Mrs. L instead of Lewis all the time. Um, meet students at the door and ask uh, how they are doing. How did game go last night, etc. Which would be an example of respect and rapport that the uh, teacher would have with students 
and she's demonstrating this as the students are running the room. So you can see I'm just uh, entering information as I would see it as it relates to uh, various components within this particular rubric that I have put up and you can see you can put your own information there. Now what's kind of interesting about this particular app if you look up on top there's a microphone. So if I click on that microphone um, you, at this point I can be recording what's happening in the classroom so you can see that there's a at the levels there you can see my, as my talk the uh, voice meter is measuring those levels and that I can uh, stop this, save it, or discard it. So let's say I wanted to save it, then that uh, audio recording I just made then becomes appended, as you can see, to this app. And another thing that you can do is you could take a picture of whatever is happening. And so I am not in a classroom right now. Um, I'm just uh, at an office doing this work. But if I wanted to, I could take a picture. In this case, you can see I'm, I'm taking a picture of a coffee cup. But you could be taking a picture of whatever is happening in the room. And you could save that picture. And then it's going to, again, be appended as well. So I'm going to have an audio clip as well as an image clip. And I could have several of those. So I'm, uh, at this point, scripting information, putting it into this particular document. And let's say I'm finished doing this. In the end, I can I, I would save this document. And then when I am finished saving, on the bottom, there is a, a send to a tab. And I can email this document uh, to Mrs. Lewis. And she would then get this information uh, right from you. So you could send it to her, or you could send it to yourself, and you could copy and paste this into a Word document to clean up the English, the language or whatever that you had. So you can see that there is a, a lot of different variety of applications you can use. I really like this application because um, you can copy and paste information like I showed you as well as doing script and you also can do audio recording as well as take pictures of like the way the classroom furniture is arranged maybe what students or the teacher are writing on the board, um, those, that kind of information, and it would be readily available for you to use at a later time. So I hope you find this useful, the, this application of using Evernote in order to do classroom walkthrough observation and teacher evaluations.